Well, I'm going to build another of the uh, Thunderbird wings, and because uh, I've changed a couple of techniques, and I uh, thought I would just start from the beginning and walk you through it. Now, I'm not going to do a complete video. I'm just going to do like an overview. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, eventually, um, on the kit shipped after 822, uh, this part here and this part here is no longer going to be like that. We're going to, I'm going to be taking out this line and this line, and we're going to let this come all the way over because there's actually no need for that step to be in there. Here, so if you have a wing that's like this you haven't built, go ahead and just uh, draw a line from here to that point there because that's where you're going to be cutting. Now, whenever you cut this out, you can cut off, you can cut the line off at the back side. In other words, uh, I can you can either leave the line or you can take the line off like I'm doing here. And uh, again, I'm not going to cut this all the way out, but you can see I've left the line on here. Uh, and of course, the line is gone here. But on the front edge, on the leading edge, you want to actually leave this line. So instead of the line being on my scrap, I'm going to have the line left on the wing. And what I mean by that is, if I cut this off like this, as you can see, a lot of the line is left on here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to leave the line on here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do the front edge. Now, because I have a different technique that I've started using, I'm going to share that with you. And again, you would just draw a line here. And because this is part of the uh, front edge here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this back a little bit. And that's probably far enough. I just want to be able to get to this point here. Okay, my next step is to go ahead and put me a line on here so that I know where my tape is going. So what I'm first going to do is go ahead and cut my tape. And I'm just going to line my tape up with this edge right here so that I get the tape the right length. So I want to just go past this angle piece here about oh, an eighth of an inch. And then go out past the edge here of about a quarter of an inch or so. So I'm roughly going to go, I'll make it about three quarters of an inch longer than it actually needs to be. So I'm going to take this and duplicate it. Now the measurement on this piece of tape wound up being 22 inches. So now I have those pieces of tape cut. And they are the same length, they're 22 inches. So. Now I need to mark this, so what I'm going to do is the line can be fairly wide, about a sixteenth inch wide, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the inside edge of the line, not the outside edge, but it would be this side of the edge of the line, and I'm going to go back seven-eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to mark that seven-eighths of an inch. So from this side of the line, I'm going to mark it seven-eighths. I'm going to do the same thing here again, this side of the line, and go 7 eighths, and then do the same thing on this side, again, this side of the line, mark it at 7 eighths, and lastly, this side of the line, mark it at 7 eighths. Now, you can make sure this is laying flat. And if you have a good straight edge, you can go ahead and draw a line at that 7 eighths of an inch mark so that you have a line to work with. And you'll understand why this line is on here in a moment. So there I put that line on. And now I should be able to run a second line on this side. Okay, so now that's where my tape is going. Now here's the next very critical point is we want to make sure we're working with the lines, the marks on the top side. So these are on the top side. So now I'm going to flip my material over 
because I want to put my tape on so that it's on the bottom side coming over to the top. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up right to the edge, just like that. And now I can go ahead and peel one of my pieces of tape, like this. And now I'm going to make sure that my material stays flat. So I'm just going to lay a straight edge on it. And now I'm going to hold this over that line and put it, drop it right down on that mark. Just like that. Now I'm holding this up because I don't really want this to touch the paper here uh, and stick. So now I'm going to take and fold this or lay it over and then I'm going to take the piece that I've just peeled off of there and lay it back on top of here like that. Now I can take and press this tape down really good. So I want this to be really stuck well. Okay. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do the second one, just like I just did this one. So again, I'm going to lay this right next to the edge here. I'm going to take my tape, peel off the back. And again, lining up so they're just over the edge here, and then let it run wild on the other end, and lay it right down on the line. like that. Again, I'm going to roll it over, take my piece of tape, put back down over the, the material so that I can mash this down now. Okay. So now we should have both the, the sides of the leading edge here flat. And now I can go ahead and work them, and I'm going to do, we'll just do this one first, so I'm going to peel this tape off. And now all we have to do is take and bring this edge over and match that edge. So to make this easy, I can cut this back so now that I'm not trying to roll this piece of tape over, and I'm just going to start and pull the tape right on the edge, just like that, and then come all the way back over to here, just like this, okay, and then do the same thing back here, again, I want to let, let this tape match what's already down there. Okay, just like that. And now you can see that this is down and I have it mashed flat and it actually turned out perfect. Alright, so again, I'm going to peel this off and again, I'm going to start and I'm going to take this edge right here and I'm going to line it up right over that edge there. So, going to take about that much of it and now whenever I roll this over I'm actually pulling it so that it's tight and straight because it's tight it'll be straight and then I'm pressing it down just where the edge meets okay and then you do a little bit of it there and then you can go ahead and move down you want to keep this tight and you want to be stretching it out so that it lays flat and you can work it a little bit at a time if you have to. And you know what? If you mess up, now you can see that I didn't mess it up, but let's say I did. Okay? You can go ahead and come back and peel this up and start again. Okay? So it's not the end of the world, but what you have to do is Whenever you bring it over, bring it over and make sure it's right before you really press it down. Because once you once you start pressing it down, then you start uh, pressing the adhesive. 
and uh, you don't want to have it down halfway or, or press it down and then have to pull it back up. So make sure it's right. Once you know that it it's right, then kind of tack it all the way through. Okay. And then go all the way to the end. And then come back here. And again, I'm going to start here and I'm going to pull it. I'm going to stretch it. Okay. And by stretching it, see, it makes it lay down straight. All right. So now I can go ahead and press this down tight. And now I have both sides done. Now what I want to do is go ahead and cut this. I can see where the material is out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this back just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Know where that edge is and then cut it back. Just like that. So now we have that rounded edge. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this out and then we'll take this down to my board and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, now I've taped my, my piece of material down to my board and then I've also uh, went ahead and marked the lines so that the lines are actually uh, from one point to the other on each end of the carbon. So basically I've marked that a straight line. And then it's time to go ahead and take the carbon and lay the carbon out so that you get the carbons in the right place. And you start with the longest carbon here and then the next shortest one, the next shortest one, and then the shortest one goes there. So you can go ahead and lay your carbon out. And then one other thing that I've done is Whenever I put this piece of carbon here on, I came back from the edge here a half inch and put a mark. And then I want to make sure that this piece of carbon starts this side of that mark. So I want a minimum of a half inch. And then, of course, there's lines here. Uh, and you can actually lay a straight edge down and get a good line, a solid line. So let me go ahead and do that. And you'll understand what this solid line is for here in a little bit. But we'll do that one and then I'll go ahead and line this one here up since I haven't done it yet. So now I have all of the lines marked. Let me go ahead and finish laying out my carbon. And again, the longest one goes here. The next longest one goes here the next here, and finally the short one goes here. Now, the next step is to go ahead, and this is something new that I've done, and I'm going to run a small V right down the line. So I'm just going to put a V right down the line here. like this. Okay. Now, I had a little bit much there, so I'm going to bring it back to here. And then I want to drop this carbon into it. Like that. Now I'm going to use a plastic, this is just a serrated knife, and that's just so that I can actually get a hold of the carbon and control it just like that. And then I'm going to press the carbon down into the glue. Just like that. I want to make sure the carbon gets into the glue. Okay. And I'm going to very carefully just smooth out the edge there. And I also have a little shop rag that I can use because every time you go back to the glue, you want to make sure your fingers are clean. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time making it pretty. I'm just going to make it smooth. And 
then I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. So now I'm going to set the bead right down on the line. And again, I'm just going to take the carbon lay it right down on the beam and then press it down. six hours and then I can go ahead and put the tape on and we'll talk about that whenever I get ready to put the tape on it. Okay so here you can see I've got the glue down. Didn't spend a lot of time working with it. Didn't spend a lot of time uh, trying to make it look pretty. All I wanted to do was get it down and you don't want to keep working it. The less you do to it, the better off you're going to be. Because once it starts gumming up, then it'll start, uh, you start moving it around and you can't control it. So, and here you can see the mark where I'm going to start the other carbon. But I want to take these over first and then we'll be gluing this piece of carbon here and this piece of carbon here in place. So for right now we're going to let that set and uh, we'll come back to this.